that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. <gasps> the smallest one was Madeline. And no one knew quite so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. On a bright sunny morning as they walked out the door, they ran into a neighbor they couldn't ignore. What is this? Bonjour. It was Pepito, son of the Spanish ambassador. What is a Western Roundup? It is a show from America with horses and bulls and lassos and cowboys. And cowgirls, too? Oui, Madeline. Cowgirls, too. And everyone wears big hats and does big tricks. <laughs> oui. And to get their horses to go faster, they say, Yee-haw! The children headed to the park to ride some ponies for a lark. This one is the smallest. Would you like to ride him, Madeline? Yes, I would, for I am also the smallest. It says his name is Gallop, and he is from America. America! Ooh! Nice, Gallop. Want a carrot? <laughs> They walked and walked around the pen, and then they walked around again. Although these ponies were delighting, they really weren't too exciting. Yeehaw! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, Madeline, you have given me quite a scare. Do not worry, Miss Clavel. Gallop is just having some fun. Right, Gallop? <laughs> <laughs> wow! With that, he took off like a shot. <gasps> oh, dear! They rode through Arrondissement 6, doing some very fancy tricks. On the famed Champs-Élysées, a famous arch got in the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get that there pony from my Wild West Shore. My name ain't Buffalo Ben. I'm gonna rustle up that there pony, or my name ain't Lasso Louie. Uh-oh. Well, dang my nabbit. My mistake. Pardon me, ma'am. Well, 
Dag my nabbit. Lasso Louis, the horrible horse thief, is in Paris. As Madeline caused a true sensation, the girls had reached the police station. Madeline is missing! And she is on a very dangerous horse from America. They charted out a complex course to find a lost girl and her horse. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Buffalo Ben. Bonjour. I am Madeline, and this is Gallup. That's a pretty fancy sidestep you got there. You all want to be in my Western show? Me, we. Oui. <laughs> oui. Come, Gallup. Let us find the others and invite them to the show. Wow. You know where Madeline and Gallup went? Straight inside a giant tent. I guess the Wild West reminds you of home. May I see your tickets? We are in the show. In the show? <laughs> but you're too little, too small, too short. <laughs> we may be shocked, but we have big plans. Through the old streets of Paris with Inspector Moreau, the girls and Pepito searched high and then low. they noticed a clue at the old western show. Look, Gallop's hoof prints. She wore the best of cowgirl suits with hat and spurs and fancy boots. And safety gear. Oh, Madeline, thank goodness you are all right. And thank goodness you came. The show is about to begin, and we are in it. <laughs> how they hustled, how they bustled. <laughs> then Pepita was, good heavens, rustled. Ah! And now, may damn and may sure, I am proud to present Madeline and Gallup. And stamp your feet and stamp a little louder. Now tip your hat, take your seat. We couldn't be much prouder. From the Rockies to the Alps, we'll get those guitars strumming. Let's hear those yippies and those yips. You cowpokes will be humming. Jumped so high, the crowd was certain that it was Madeline's final cut. Madeline! Poor Miss Clavel watched the jump from the stand, hoping that Madeline would soon safely land. Yeah! <laughs> Voila! Well, I'll be a coyote's cuticle! What the? Huh? Later that night, they broke carrots and bread. A man came to the door with a hat on his head. It was Buffalo Ben. And here's what he said. Howdy, ma'am. I'm here to invite Madeline and Gallup to compete in the tumbleweed rodeo in America. The tumbleweed rodeo in America. You see, I have purchased your little horse from the pony man. 
You and Gallup will wow them in the West. But they cannot leave my friends. How about if they all come along for the ride? Ooh! Ooh? I think you youngins mean yippee. Yippee! <laughs> huh? May I come too, Senor Buffalo Ben? If you give me back my hat. Yippee! I hope we do not meet any nasty varmints in the Wild West. The only one you have to worry about is Lasso Louie, the horrible horse thief. Lasso Louie? That's right. Lasso Louie, the baddest bad guy in the West. Hoping to avoid the varmints, in two straight lines they packed their garments. <laughs> Buffalo Ben indeed was frantic to get his show across the Atlantic. Then Pepito pulled a naughty antic. The incident ended much better than hoped, with Pepito still living and the bull gently roped. <laughs> and soon a very French yippee could be heard across the sea. But we still have a whole lot more traveling ahead. Not to mention a whole lot more horse napping. <laughs> They discovered a brand new terrain from the windows of a chugging train. Evening, as the sun went down, they pulled into a dusty town. Here we are, Sagebrush, USA. <laughs> Home of rodeos, hoedowns, and the baddest bad guy in the West, Lasso Louie, the horrible horse thief. <gasps> oh, dear. Now, let's mosey on over to my ranch. The sheriff is going to give us a ride. This is a funny taxi. <laughs> it is a stagecoach, little girls. Howdy, and welcome to Sagebrush. Howdy, Monsieur Sheriff. Where are y'all from? Paris. Paris, Texas? Paris, France. Paris, France? Dag my nevin. Prairie, desert. Yes. Tumbleweed. Ball! Ball! Papito! Do not worry, Miss Clavel. <laughs> this bull is now my amigo. Good Torito. Good Torito. That night, they sat under the stars, humming, strumming with guitars. Now, these here are marshmallows. You just put them on a stick and toast them in the fire. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah. But when they finished their marshmallows, the sheriff's laughter turned to bellows. Did Buffalo Ben say you're going to be in the rodeo? Oui, monsieur. <laughs> Why, you're no bigger than a bean in a bucket. <laughs> we may be little, but we have big plans. The next day at the great state fair. Food and games were everywhere. Look, the smallest frog won first prize. And the smallest apple pie is the most delicious. See, mm -hmm. see, si, si. the most delicious. Me 
means Madeline can win even though she is the smallest. <laughs> were eaten, games were played, then it was time for the parade. Clowns chasing piggies for a laugh. While bareback riders roped a calf. Some rode on broncos and some wrestled steer. The crowd was yahooing, a great wild west cheer. And Madeline's turn was coming near. Madeline stopped. She looked all around, but Gallop the horse was nowhere to be found. Gallop! Gallop! Gallop, where are you? Lasso Louie always gets his horse. <laughs> Poor Madeline, ready and raring to ride, but her horse was no longer there at her side. They searched through stable and corral for their favorite name, Pal. Uh, uh, where are you? Gallop! Come with me. I know sagebrush like the back of an eagle's elbow. With the sheriff as her guide, they combed the plains and mountainside. But meanwhile, at the rodeo, it was almost Madeline's turn to go. The search was going much too slow. I will have to do something! Madeline knew they had to skedaddle as they looked for their most precious horsey and saddle. Sometimes a big help. All those horses look like Gallop. It was a mistake to sell you to the French when I stole you the first time. <laughs> At last, I have you back in my collection. And dagnabbit, you will be mine forever. Yes. Interesting technique. Your family? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour! Pleased to meet you! Uh, with Gallop, we have a rodeo to win! <laughs> Adios, Monsieur Sheriff! Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you all been waiting for! The Barrel Race, presenting Madeline and Gallop! Who shot out just like an arrow? The ex bad hat, a true vaquero. In the stands, not feeling well, was the worried Miss Clavel. All that she could do was hope Pepito wouldn't drop the rope. Way to go, young man. And here's your trophy. Even though you performed out of turn. Gracias. Hmm. It seems our next finalists, Madeline and Gallup, are no-shows. We will have to go on to... But before he could say another thing, guess who trotted in the ring? Merci! Thank you, Pepito! Although they were of tiny size, Gallup and Madeline won first prize. Nice going, y'all. The smallest darn ones have won the biggest darn prizes. We must celebrate. We will have the biggest campfire. With the biggest marshmallows. And the biggest carrot for Gallup. But first, the biggest mercy for capturing the baddest bad guy in the West. Will you be my deputy, Madeline? Me oui, Monsieur Sheriff. Yippee! It was a dreadfully sad day when they had to go away. The train blew its whistle long and loud, and Gallop stood back in the crowd. Gallop, does this mean you will not?
not go back to Paris with us? Je comprends, Gallop. I understand. Oh, Miss Clavel, I cannot go back to Paris if Gallop is staying here. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Oh, Madeline. Gallop's home is here, just as your home is in Paris with those who love you. Her words helped Madeline realize that her loving home was a special prize. And dear Gallop, I will think of you every day and every night. <laughs> And so the children rode the train, then took the ship, then home again. Just about a month later, under the pines, the ponies lined up in two very straight lines. Madeline was in the front, showing them a special stunt. She had just taught them to obey when she heard a familiar sounding neigh. <laughs> so much, I thought I'd bring him back to Paris for a spell with all these kinfolk. Back in old Paris, no discouraging word, they all saddled up across the sea from the herd. Why, even their dear Miss Clavel had been spurred. <laughs> then, when they broke their bread that day, their guests were outside breaking hay. They brushed their teeth, then went to bed. And finally, good nights were said. And Madeline knew it didn't matter at all that she and her horse were so very small, for their hopes and their dreams and their spirits were tall. Miss Clavel turned out the light, then closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs>